Hey, thanks for joining me again. Here we are. We're going to do another uh, how to demo Business Connect. This time we're going to focus on the IVR or auto attendant and advanced rules inside the IVR. So um, let's get started. So, primarily, companies want to provide the best possible experience for their customers. Some companies like to use live answer, having, having a real person answer the phone during working hours, using an automated system after hours. Some companies like to give self-service options to their clients when dealing with a large number of callers, doing this using an automated interactive voice response system, or IVR, and at the same time being able to sort or to classify calls to ensure they get to their intended destination, even after hours. Now, spark the conversation around automated attendant and advanced routing with the following questions. Describe how your company answers incoming calls. Very simply, describe how your company answers incoming calls. Or, is your company policy allowing for self-serve uh, self options for your client? Is your company policy allowing for self-serve options for your clients? All right, let's have a look at the IVR system inside Business Connect. And we're gonna to touch on a number of different items inside here. Uh, first off, the, uh, the auto reception itself. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to configure it, um, just how to demo the, uh, the portions of auto, uh, auto receptionist that I think are kind of important. Um, with auto receptionist, um, really the menu system itself, um, yes, there's 250 menus to play with, um, so the capabilities are, are really kind of endless. But being able to um, uh, present to a, a customer, you know, having the ability to give options to their clients on inbound calls, um, is, is really what the IVR is made for. Um, and it's completely versus the live answer situation or scenario. Um, so if calls are overwhelming the receptionist uh, or they don't have a receptionist or they're filling in for uh, multiple sites, they may have to have uh, an automated system to have those calls answered. Um, this is where this really comes into play and uh, comes into play well. Um, I have multi-site um, uh, turned on for, uh, for my options, so you're gonna see this maybe a little differently uh, from your demo account. Um, and I have multi-level turned on as well, uh, single level IVR uh, or single level auto, level auto attendant just gives you a single option or a single recording uh, for a given site. Um, so I'm gonna use uh, the main site here and have the IVR uh, pointed towards the uh, main company greeting. And uh, I will turn that on so it, uh, so it goes there. You notice that I have the uh, uh, top level day menu. I already built this menu. Um, very easy to, to build and very easy to select. You can use the uh, search bar if you've already done it as well. And uh, I have that top level day. Um, I've already, already built a, a top level night. We'll go into configuring or, or having a look at those uh, to, to give you options. So you will select uh, what you're going to have during the hours uh, that you're open and the hours that you're closed. Uh, and that's all based on your, your company hours up here. That plays into advanced rules quite nicely uh, in a little bit. So let's have a look at the, uh, at the IVR itself. Uh, up at the top, you'll see the uh, IVR menus. This is where you individually play with those, those menus, that 1002 menu we just looked at, um, that top level menu, it's it contained right here. You can manually tweak things inside that menu if you wish, or you can use the, uh, the, the visual IVR editor. I like to use the visual IVR editor because it's a very powerful tool uh, explaining really that the IVR editor is a WYSIWYG interface. That's what you see is what you get, a real nice long acronym. Um, that uh, is used to describe what, what you're going to see here. So we're gonna launch the, the IVR editor and that IVR editor opens on a new web page, and that uh, right off the bat gives you the ability to build a brand new one. You're gonna see a whole list of, um, of menus. You may only have a couple or, or even none uh, in here. Uh, because this is a demo account, I see a whole bunch of them. Um, you can be as complicated as you possibly uh, can be um, to have all kinds of choices uh, under different menus and different options inside here. Uh, or you can, you can have very simple, you know, um, it hits one, one menu, gives three choices, and uh, those choices are, uh, are transfers or functions inside it. Um, so let's try uh, just building a brand new one and have a look at that. 
So we're going to build a brand new one by hitting this icon at the top here. And that right off the bat builds one of these purple boxes. The purple boxes are your, your menus uh, or IVR uh, instructions themselves. This is what gets, uh, gets answered to your or played towards your, your callers uh, and answers those inbound calls. There is a settings button under the dot, dot, dot for each menu that you, that you see. And inside those settings, uh, you will see things like the, the name. Uh, you can give it any name you wish. Um, you can call it your top level day, your main day, your night greeting, um, your company A, company B, um, Joe's Garage, whatever you want, um, plus an extension number of that, um, uh, of that menu. That menu extension number can be anything you wish as well. It typically it's it doesn't really uh, have any effect um, other than you know for testing you're going to dial that extension number, uh, but uh, for the most part your customers will not see that extension number. So just make it anything or just leave it what it is. Um, you can select the language uh, English or French and uh, all the prompts inside the system. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the French side of it. Um, I'll leave that up to another demo um, and, and for another person to do, seeing I don't speak French and uh, we'll stick with English in this case. You have two options. I like to sandbox, and that sandbox term I love to use because it's, it's, it's where you can kind of play uh, and test and, and uh, build something, to, you know, get it designed the way you want, and then uh, turn it into production and push it towards your customers and uh, have that real life experience. Uh, having the ability to use text-to-speech is where you really can, can build uh, in here and type in exactly what you want your customers to hear uh, and build your script. So you can say, Things like you know, welcome to um, to your company, whatever it may be, and of course that company can can have um, you know any any uh, help if I can spell right. There we go. Um, that company uh, name is going to be whatever your company name is. You can use commas to uh, to slow the prompts down to have that sort of small pause and to go from there. Typically, you're going to say things like, you know, welcome to your company. Uh, please dial your extension number if you know it. Uh, and then you're going to go into your options. So please dial the uh, the extension number. And this is where you, you kind of get your script correct too. Dial the extension number. Um, now, and then you can say for, uh, for sales, press one comma for service, press two for the operator, press zero and for a directory press nine. So there's kind of build up my choices. I've just given some arbitrary numbers, but um, that's typically what you're going to see uh, in the, um, in, in any given menu. And just remember those numbers. So we have one for sales, two for service, operator is zero, and for the directory, press nine. So we're going to use that as, our, as a bit of a demo. So we'll save that. So now we have a little uh, a music note. You'll notice a music note. That means that a, a prompt is available or in the system that is tied to this IVR menu. Uh, now we need to put some choices. Now remember what our script was. And um, we, we had an extension uh, one for sales and we had an extension two. And we're gonna, just gonna build these out real quick. And we're gonna have an operator transfer and we're going to have a directory. So those were our choices. Now we can make the modifications to those really quick menus. Uh, choice one was our sales. Um, and I think we already have a sales queue already programmed. We do, there it is there. Um, and we're going to have uh, a service and there's our service group and disregard this extension number. It can be absolutely anything. This is a uh, legacy from, uh, from single level IVR uh, or single level auto attendant where uh, the extension number was your choice. Okay. Um, which is uh, uh, ties to, to the single level auto attendant, uh, the dial zero for the operator. And we have an operator group. I have a, a group already built out for the operator and that extension of course would be zero. So we have to make a change up in here to zero. And, um, uh, and that, that rearranges, you notice it rearranges those. Um, now the directory assistance we wanted to, or the directory wanted to make that a nine and allow for that to happen there. So I will make that extension nine for that choice. And that allows for the uh, directory be, to be selected uh, once that customer's in the uh, IBR menu and do the uh, dial by name directory. 
So that functionality gives uh, gives basic uh, access to um, you know your groups inside the system, and uh, it covers kind of your day routing. And uh, let's uh, let's move on to the next section here real quick. So, oh, in addition to that, too, uh, modifying any of these options uh, is very, very easy, too. You know, you can, um, you know, at any time, you can delete any one of these menu systems, uh, or rearrange them, add something else, hit the plus sign and add, uh, say, an external transfer to a 10-digit number. Um, that's easy to do. Um, and just put any telephone number in here, whatever it might be. Um, Okay, and uh, allow for that uh, external transfer to be uh, one of the choices. Once you've got it built completely and you hit the save button, that will upload all of these brand new menus to uh, to our system. So we'll just uh, we'll we'll save that and have 2016 as our brand new um, brand new menu system. And uh, there it goes. So we're just going to stay on this page. Yes, probably just timed out. And there we go, the uh, menu system has been saved and updated. There we go, we can close that now. And now we can quickly test it. If we dial 2016 from uh, one of our test phones, we should be able to hear what, uh, what that attendant says. Thanks for calling your company. If you know the extension number, dial it now. For sales, press one. For service, press two. For the operator, press zero. To use the directory, press nine. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. And that allows us to, uh, to now take calls. So we've got uh, an auto attendant set up and where that would be selected um, to, to actually start working would be under the general settings. You just go back into general and uh, select that uh, main site again. Um, having the, the IVR settings um, allowing for that, that particular um, um, menu to be played is under company hours uh, top menu. So we're going to select that one. And uh, we call that one 2016, and there's our IVR 2016. So you'd select that, hit done, and away, uh, away you go. Um, so that's how that's built and how it operates. Um, really cool way to do that. Do the same thing for night hours, and, uh, and, and you're off to the races. Um, and that's kind of the end of part one uh, to do with the IVR. Now, now we'll talk about some really cool things to do with custom answering rules or automatic routing uh, or advanced routing. And that's done under here, under, under custom rules. Um, what this really allows for uh, is for uh, some really neat things to happen uh, based on a number of uh, possible conditions. And, and, it, and it's really self-evident when you read the, uh, read the description of the custom answering rules, um, allowing for uh, you know, powerful call management capabilities using conditions, um, basing that on time of day, a date range, incoming caller ID, and, and or call number and any combination of those as well so uh, I'll just walk through one real quick uh, to show you how to demo this so you just add a rule and the first thing you do just give it a name and uh, we'll call this one I don't know we'll just call it VIP because we'll just base it on, on caller ID for example uh, so that that instance where you have a very special customer that calls in or it's a family member or something like that and you want it routed separately so you hit next uh, and we'll base this on caller ID, and you'll put your uh, the the phone number of the uh, of the caller uh, in here. And I'm going to use that. There we go. Just add that. And once it's added, it will show up. And you can have a list of numbers here as well uh, if you want them all treated uh, essentially the same way. You just put another number in here, add, and you'll get it in in here. You can also delete them or remove them by hitting that X. Um, hitting the next button, uh, you define that condition uh, that we've done, and now we're going to say, okay, what do we want to do for uh, call handling? We want to send that differently, um, and uh, we're going to send that to a different extension inside the system. Uh, that one we'll, we're going to send directly to myself because um, that's a, a private number that I want to route uh, differently. And there we go. That's all there is to it. So we have a VIP setting. So when um, a call comes into our auto attendant and the caller ID matches this particular number, um, it's going to route directly to my extension. Um, in another uh, situation, uh, we've got other menus that are turned on or, or answer rules that are turned on here as well. Uh, you'll notice this one says French IVR. It's just an, a name. You can give it any name you wish. Um, you can call it special routing or anything like that. Uh, this one's based on called number and time of 
different day. You'll notice there's two, two values in here. Um, so if this number is dialed and it's between these times, uh, Monday to Friday, 6 to uh, 3 p.m., uh, then it will go to a, a, a French auto attendant uh, or extension 1014, which happens to be an IVR. Um, and you can imagine you can do all kinds of things to do with date and time. Uh, basing on special days, uh, companies close for whatever reason, or it's a holiday, that type of thing. Uh, all of that stuff can be uh, uh, can be put in here. And that concludes the uh, special answering or custom answer rules uh, for TELUS Business Connect. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe at the uh, bottom of the video and uh, hit that bell icon to get notifications of new videos that are coming up. Uh, and once again, thank you very much for uh, for watching and attending the video. Thanks. Cheers.